Hello everyone, this is Azure Toroto. Currently playing Software Inc. I have noticed this game on Steam, like the previous day, and I actually showed some slight interest to it, so I decided to make a video to, about it. I'm going to go and show you some of the basics of this game. And it's quite nice. Next. Like, I actually expected less from the game. A lot less. But, it's apparently like a game that's like Game Developer Tycoon and... Also like Sims. And I wish to actually show you guys the demo. I hope the developer doesn't mind if I do show off a bit of the features before its release, which is going to be tomorrow. Hmm, <laughs> I'm going to make myself, or try to. Let's see. Yeah. Since this is a demo, it's actually rather limited. It's not going to show all the features. And this is still in development, so don't expect much from this video. Well, this video is only an example of what it's capable of. And only a little taste of it. <laughs> that pretty much looks like me in a nutshell. Except with some shorter hair. A lot shorter hair. Okay. I am optimistic. And yeah, there's a system in here that is like traits. You can give your characters traits to basically affect their personality and affect how people think of them. Which is quite nice. I'll think I am optimistic and... I think I am a introvert. I'm shy. Okay, yeah. Once, want to be a bit of an artist. But yeah, this is not the full game, so I'm not going much in depth, even though I already did. But I might as well show you everything that was available. You can only color your outfits, and there's not that many outfits to see yet. Now, here's the plot of land to which I'm going to build upon. I'm going to build my palace of a company. It's going to be my nice little palace. And as every palace starts with, I'm going to start with a tiny little house. Yes. A tiny house. This is going to be my foundation. A foundation for my future company. And sadly enough, I can't say, but it's because it's a demo, so I don't really care what I do in this playthrough. But I'm going to pretty much show my all in the full release. But that's going to be a long time from now. But in the release tomorrow, I may actually make more videos of it if you guys like. If you like this video. Yeah, it's pretty much like Sims on the way you can build your, your base of operations, which I would like to call it. Like, you could put in, like, tables, chairs, even computers. You can even affect the temperature of the room, even give it lighting if you want, even awesome coffee machines. I'm going to put this picture over here. And this pot. And I mean like pot in like a plant. Like, I hope you guys know what I mean. Okay, let's start. Like, I may actually have to skip the first day because 
my character doesn't appear on the first day for some odd reason from what I played. But he'll appear the next. Like, you can actually affect the schedule of them. Like, you can actually make them arrive at any time you wish and at leave at any time you want. I'm going to make my character arrive at 8 a.m., which is the default time, and then leave at 6 p.m. in the afternoon. This will basically be his job shift for any g things I make. And this game is mainly about making software, like video games, not just video games, but you can also make computers, you can make software that people could use in making their things. Which seems quite nice. And I may demonstrate once my person arrives here. Where is he? There he is. Now, he's just going to walk up to the chair and just lay back. Chillaxing. Now, let's make something. I'm going to pause. Hmm. For example, I may actually make him build, like, something like... I don't think you guys are familiar, like, with... Well, maybe you are. But this is supposedly, like, an art program thing I can make here, which is a virtual tool. Well, that's how I picture it, anyway. Something like GIMP, uh, Psy... There are things like you draw pictures with, and you make those fancy looking things with. Yeah, those things. I'm gonna make that as the first product in this video. I'm gonna call it Fox Art. It's gonna be like... A software to which... Basically allows you... Its mascot is basically a fox. It's like Firefox, basically. Hmm. Yeah. One thing in this game, unlike a uh, game developer tycoon and unlike game mergo makers, you basically get to use the products of our companies, like these three. These are like the operation these are like the computers of the NAR companies. And I can decide whichever one I want to use. Like, I'm gonna pretty much use this as a start. Since it's an outstanding quality computer, and a bunch of people possibly love it. <laughs> yep. You can actually do all sorts of things. You can actually make the game free, or like the software for free, so people may like you, or you can even keep it to yourself. Like, no. No, no one other than yourself could actually use it if you use an house. Yep, and what I just select there allows me to fix the bugs that I left into the, the software. Like, if I didn't make the software perfect, basically I have to fix it afterwards after I'm done. Now, there's my character typing away. He's so influenced. He's filled with ambition. See how he types? I bet he's looking forward to making the best software on Earth. Because this first software here is going to be godlike be like no other that has been seen before. It's gonna be better than Psy. It's gonna be better than Gimp. It's gonna be like the superior drawing tablet thing that basically people can make all sorts of art with. Now watch as he does it in super speed. It does take time, some time for the production but it's quite fun watching him pushing his arms against the keyboard. It makes me picture how much 
effort he's putting into his work. He's putting so much work into it. See how motivated he is? I wish I could be like that in real life. Like, I could just be typing like that, typing up all sorts of masterpieces, and basically influence people. Man, I wish to actually influence people, like with my characters and my stories, but I never get the chance to. Yeah, but I hope in the future to do so. But I don't know if anyone will take any interest, but... Hmm. <laughs> but I will, sooner or later, possibly make, like, stories of my characters. The own fantasies to which I like made. Yep. This is basically his progress of the work he's currently doing. And he's doing some good progress now. And it actually says good. But I also have the option to do markets. Like, I can advertise the work to the public, telling them how great of this... how great the software is, basically. Telling them that it's like something they haven't seen before. Something that will blow their minds once it's released. Show them how great my character's talent is. Now he continues to type into the alpha. He has made the alpha of the game. And I bet he may even have beta testers doing it right now. Well, alpha testers. People testing his... his... software. Yep, you know, it's basically like Game Developer Tycoon in this kind of sense, and Gamers Go Makers. To where you have to wait some time, but it gets more fascinating as the game plays on. Because you can actually make a huge office building, along with snow employees who have their own personalities, and they can actually conflict with your projects or make them better. But right now, I don't have the money to actually get employees. I have only $3,000, which is barely enough to even buy, I don't know, like a fancy car or something. Yep, don't have that kind of money. Nor do I even want a car. Instead, I'd wish to have a castle. Then I bet a castle would cost millions and millions of dollars in American money. And speaking of money, like this is not only in American money. You can actually switch it to like multiple kinds of money, like yen, and euros, like European, that kind of money that I actually like the numbers of. Yeah, I didn't decide to make it euros because it would be a bit complex for me, even though I like the numbers. But I'm more familiar with the United States money, so... Yep, there's actually a lot more than just making stuff. You can actually buy out NER companies. Like, there is NER companies who which compete with me, and they're all software companies. Like, take Super Show Inc., for example. They have started like eight years before me. And they have sold 18 projects in that time. I bet they're actually quite rich, and yep, they are. They have 200,000. But Drive Time Inc. actually has a lot more. They have like half a million right there. 
and they started like four years after them. Hmm. And they made 52 products? In such a short amount of time, in four years? How can you make 52 products in that time? I want to look at their products. Huh. They have a bunch of things like Photoshop and all that. Front Pro, Final Skate Studio, Photo Studio, Final Skate Studio 2. I bet they like se making sequels. Print Suit, Scene Play Pro, Power Cut, and so on. They made, they made a bunch of things I'm actually making right now. But I'm gonna make something that topples over their products. I'm gonna make something that's godlike. I'm going to be superior over them someday. And may even buy them out if I wanted to. Like, you can buy out the companies, and you can also buy half the company if you wanted to. Like, there's stocks, which allows you to do that. Like, it demonstrates in a pie-like thing, a pie graph, and you just buy, like, half the company, and another company may even buy another slice of that pie chart. I don't know how many companies could buy shares of a company, but maybe like eight or so? I don't know. Despite the time I played this game yesterday, basically I haven't learned that much of it. But I have to say, this game is rather good for its quality. It's rather impressive. Can't wait till I get a radiator in here. Like, I look forward to what the developer has in mind, like in the future updates of this game. And this here is like the newspaper. I'm looking at what is popular during the time. Huh. Apparently Wave Stop 2 is actually the best audio tool right now. If I ever wanted to make a game, I could use that. If I wanted to. Oh, speed along now? Watch me speed tight on the keyboard, possibly burning flames through it. Was my, ambi uh, my ambition. I'm showing how motivated I am. I'm gonna pretty much make the best product of all time. And I wish I could do so in real life, but don't have the skills. Wish I had that kind of skill. Could just tap away on a keyboard like some madman. I'd be able to type so fast that it's extreme. Like, I've seen some people type so fast. That's like, how do they really type that fast? just blows my mind on how fast humans can actually type. Like with our hands. Like I've seen some people just type so fast that's like, I wonder how much is this hurting the keyboard. I bet my character's keyboard is already broken. Yep, now he's relaxing after typing so fast. And now he's going to pretty much promote. Here's where we get the marketing out of the way. Like, this is the marketing. This is where I advertise. You have four methods at the moment. Who knows, there may be future methods. Like, this is like the internet, radio, newspapers, and television. I'm gonna go with interwebs because I don't have the money. These cost quite a bit of money for each of these. Don't have the money for that. Plus, it's best off to start small with the internet. Lots of people use the internet these days. And yet, this is 1980, so I doubt many people are on the internet, so my product is not going to get far with its advertisement. 
my character is going to do that the next day or the next month to be more particular and he is being a lazy oh okay I forgot to assign like you have to assign your team to the marketing process I forget that I have to assign them to that because for a minute I thought he was going to be like lazy on me I was going to be like don't be a jerk on me me yep I bet you guys have noticed like these footsteps on the rug here or floor what it may be I'm betting it's a carpet a nice soft carpet to which you walk upon but yeah you need janitors to actually clean that up and you can actually hire some like you hire a temporary, which are usually the cheaper method, or you can hire permanent, which you would recommend once your company is bigger. I wouldn't recommend these, like early on. I would say get them like not early on. <coughs> yep, there he goes. He's just sleeping away. Watching me type with my ambition. I'm just going mad with ideas right now. Telling the people how good my game is. It's like so good that people are possibly eating up their information and I'm pretty much giving them. I'm possibly saying this is the most ambitious project of all time. This product is going to make the end of all art tablet things. People are going to go insane with their art tablets with my program. And I don't even think art tablets even exist yet. So I'm going to be setting an example before time. This is going to be amazing. Yep. It's going to be amazing. And I'm nearly done with the bugs. So I can actually release it before, you know, the bugs are even done. But I wish for my project to be in mint condition. So that everyone could actually use it. Without complaining about bugs. Like, I want them all to be satisfied with my product. To be excited. So far, 7%. I'm at 7% potential, but now it's skyrocketed above the point I even said. That's how quick my character is spraying the word. Nearly 10% people are actually liking my product. They're saying that it has 7% potential of being the next best thing. I'm paying to bankruptcy. Huh. Didn't really pay attention to the money. Well, might as well release this now, though it's not going to get much possibly sales. But let's see how it will do. Hopefully I get some revenue. Revenue or... Let's see the next day! They gave me squat. No one has bought my project. I didn't put it in open source. Hmm. Let's see how my project did. It's good quality. It's not popular. It's obscure. I don't know why, but I'm not familiar with that one. Yeah, I played this game before. I have only get... What? $39? I guess people didn't like my preaching. That it was godlike. They are not even ready for what my pr 
my little device could do. My little software. They're not ready. Everyone's minds are not ready for my ideas. Yep, I possibly saw it too ahead of our time. I was like saying all the GIMP stuff and so on. I'm way ahead of our time. Yep. Got higher on our janitor. This place is dirty. Yep. What I just did there was a contract. Like contract work. This is like needed when you're going near bankruptcy. It's advised to actually use it when necessary, and I say I have to use it now because my project pretty much backfired. I think I praised my work so much. I think I was too ambitious. Possibly thought too ahead of our time. I was like hoping to make an art tablet like thing that would become future generations inspiration. I was hoping that future generations would look upon it. Oh. People gave it six hundred dollars now. That's quite nice. Well, I guess no one's I guess everyone's not just leaving in the dust now. I spent more money than that. I spent one thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars and I'm only getting that much? Wow. $58 now. Oh yeah. The project is done. The contract. Now I'm about to do it in the alpha. Like, basically, every project you do, like, whether it's an operating system or a software of some sort, you basically have to do it in three stages, which you saw already. Like, you have to do it, like, d designing alpha, beta, which is actually the bug smashing thing, where you fix all the bugs of the game, or software. Yeah. You may find yourself doing contract mo work early on in the demo. Like, I'm hoping to play the full game, like, soon, like, tomorrow, like, once it's released. I'll basically jump on that, and just start playing immediately, because this game is actually quite fun and addictive with all its... its business state. I don't know why, but it actually turns me on. It turns me on with all this complex stuff, despite I haven't shown you guys every single aspect. But it's quite nice. Like, you can even go and determine who sells your stuff. You can even make your own store if you wanted to. Like, you can make a store that is, like, serves under you only. Huh. There's a GameStop. I think that's a GameStop equivalent. It's called Gameplay Store. I'm, I'm just gonna picture that as GameStop. I like that store. Love browsing the games of it. I don't know why I even like the atmosphere of the stores. And there tends to be kind people at the store nearby here, to which I go to often. Yeah, they always greet you whenever you enter the door. I don't know if that's because the business told them to, or to just be nice. But, no matter what, it just feels nice whenever they greet you. Well, it makes it feel like, hey, you're being greeted by the, the person behind the desk. It's quite nice of them. Okay, I'm heading toward bankruptcy. Oh yeah. I... 
I trailed off right there. I f did. I don't know why, but I just get into those little moments to which I like to explain things. And I lose track of the time, and I lose track of what I'm doing. <laughs> now we finished the contract, and now I have to do many more. Like, this demo doesn't apparently have a limit. Like, you can actually play as long as you want, but it does have some limits, I'll have to say. Like, you can only make two products per gameplay of the demo, but once you get the full game, you can make as many products as you want. You can make a truckload of them. And it's quite fun once you get employees. Like, you get to see them all interact with one another. The details are so great. Once again, please. Like, I'm gonna pretty much throw in my character, like... Yeah, may give him, like, some place... I may give him a radiator. To be nice and warm during winter. And also air conditioner during winter. Uh, I mean summer. Oh, so you get to have a nice coffee machine. If I forgot to say. Y you get to make instant coffee or the awesome coffee machine or the espresso machine. I like the average coffee machine. It's nice. And speaking of which, I may actually give my character it. So he could go and sip down on some cups of nice coffee from a warm of its pot. I may even make a room for my character to which he gets to go and take the dump in if he wishes. I doubt he will, but yeah, that will be the bathroom. And now I just put a door on it, and now I'm going to put, like, the toilet in there. Luckily, they don't have anything graphic in the game. So, it's more like Sims, basically. Like, it's not... It doesn't go, like, you know, does anything, like, different from Sims. It's like, what if Sims and Aim Developer Tycoon gave birth to a child together, and that child would be this game. That's rather why it's fun, because it's similar to both games, from what I've seen so far. It may change as, you know, you go along with the game. Like, I don't know what it's like once I get a giant business to where I can have, like, this giant building here, which could like, basically, you can actually make a second floor building, or even a third floor, like, that's the thing I forgot to mention, like, you can actually have multiple floors of your building, and the stem actually limits, like, two floors. It limits you to two floors in this demo, but in the full game, I think you could actually make a skyscraper with your business, which I actually look forward to. You could also make a parking lot. Which I also look forward to. It's like you get to have a parking lot over here to where all the people park in and they all get to greet each other and then walk into the building, then chat at the coffee machine. And they don't usually chat at the coffee machine like when you have employees, sadly enough. I look forward to having a bigger building in this video. Like, I'm showing you the aspects of the early gameplay in the demo. And I'm just being past the project because, yeah, not so interesting to watch being made yet. But as time goes, it actually does get more interesting. I look forward to, you know, what the final product would be for this game, like, once it's fully developed. 
It's like going to be an early access. And yes, people always look down on the early access games because they tend to not be complete and you're only being used as guinea pigs usually to test out the game, see if it's any good and eventually it may be determined by the popularity of it. But I have to say, this game looks rather impressive even though for early access game. This is only the demo too. The developer says that he may add a lot, he or she, I don't know what gender they are, but basically they prom- well they didn't really promise either. Well, I don't remember really, but they said that they're going to add a lot of content. They're planning on doing so if they get the funds of making this game. Like, they plan on making this game a lot better than what you see here. They may even add, like, all sorts of things, like... I'm trying to name some, like, maybe you have multi-founder characters, maybe. Or maybe you can actually have, like... Some new items to actually add to the place, because the item list right now is very limited. Like, there's all these items. Like, you see them? And I bet you saw them earlier. I'm just doing this for the people who, you know, are just bed pass. Who didn't get the time to look at all of them. Yeah, some of the items that are in the full game are not available to me due to the demo. Like, you can even have servers. You can have servers to which you get to go and make like your own network, your own browser maybe. Maybe that's like some of the future things I can actually do, like make a browser or like some MMO on a large scale. Oh, that'd just be nice. And you get tons of money from it. Now I'm just gonna give my character something else to do because he's just being lazy right there. I don't blame him because it's so tempting to actually sit back in your chair and just sleep all day and just be like that for the entire day. I wonder why he's going to use a coffee machine. Because he does eventually use the coffee machine, but I guess he's not wanting coffee or something. Okay. Yeah, your character will go and just walk up to the coffee machine and make some coffee. It'll like turn it on, it'll take some time to make. Like, it sometimes takes two minutes, sometimes it may take longer. But your character will then grab a cup of coffee and then walk up to the table, well, your computer, and just drink it while they're working. Which I find interesting. Like the little details. Now he just went home from work. Now he's back. And he got some coffee. Sipping down on it. Nice blackness of the coffee. I actually do enjoy coffee myself. Which actually makes this like an accurate character of me because going and drinking coffee constantly. Yeah, can't resist. Like, whenever like I have a cup of coffee, <laughs> I usually like adding a bit of sugar and milk to just have a creamy flavor to it. That's a common thing. I bet a lot of people do it. Yet, uh, there's a one thing I actually forgot to mention, like, there's also an insurance policy system. 
to where your character can actually set insurance for his employees and this actually attracts them to work for you. You can actually deposit some of your current funds into the project, I mean, the insurance. And as you add more, the more tempting people would join you. Like, the higher they see all these insurances go up, the more likely they'll join you. But I would ask you to beware of your employees. They do have some things about them. And I will get employees once I get more money, and that's going to take some time. May not even happen in the video that. Because this video has been going on very long than most of my videos. Well, it's because I want to spread the word of this game. I want people to see this kind of project. It is like Game Developer Tycoon mixed with Sims. It seems something that many people would admire, I would think. I, I don't know. I don't know what goes on in everyone's head these days. Yep, despite being my age. Like, I'm not really that old. But yet, I have been in school not so long ago, and I don't know what the mind of people are these days. Yeah, I hope to make some more videos of nerd games, but I actually want to make this video, like, rather long and be able to demonstrate all the things of the game in the demo. Like this is not everything, this is an incomplete game at the current moment. But I bet once it's full and once it's flourishing, I bet it'll be the best game you'll know. Well it depends on what you like. Because if you're not much for management games then this is not your game. Like, I bet not many people like owning an office and bossing people around and making them do as you wish. And also making projects because some people don't have the time for that kind of thing, but some people do. Huh. Looks like my character has encountered, like, a ton of bugs in his game. Well, not game, but software. Yeah, this is bound to take long. Yeah, your character will encounter like these kind of things every once in a while. Every once. But it happens. It may be because your character may be lacking the experience for the project. Or maybe because of their mood. And that's the thing I hope to explore in this video, but... Like, I hope to show everything to you guys, like what is in the demo. What is available to us now, the day before the game is actually released. I bet by the time this video is, is actually up, I bet it's going to be like during the time of the release, or pretty much after. It's very hard to upload some videos to YouTube. And I just hope to get this up on the same day I recorded it. Yeah. This is my character right here. And my character is a professional on multiple things. And he thinks the coffee is great. I love working. <laughs> To be honest, that's sort of true. Like, if I am given a task, I would actually do it. Well, I'll try to do it. 
it's not always uh, successful, but But another thing you have to do, you can educate your employees like in Game Developer Tycoon and the other games like Gamers Go Makers. And when you educate them, they basically become more skilled in their caliber. They'll become more skilled, more talented with all the things that they do. Like you may make someone a more skilled artist or something. But I may actually have to cut that project uh, short. The Donald LTD uh, small logistic uh, application. That was just my cat. Um, yeah, I may actually have to cut that project short because yep huh okay I got some money from it apparently $900 which is barely the price of what it really costs hmm let's see like the amount that they offer for each contract actually determines the difficulty of that contract because the more they offer the more difficult and so I'm trying to go for the lowest prices but I'm trying to aim to get more money so that we could advance further with this video like so I could demonstrate more things like when your building gets more bigger and when you get employees how it's like to manage them and they can be quite jerks at sometimes, sometimes they could be like these people that you may like. It varies, and your character could even build relationships with them. It looks like because they could say like things like that they like this character. Makes me believe that there's plan, there's possibly plans for relationships later on in the series. Like your character could get along with someone and be best friends with them. Sort of like in Sims. But if something like that does happen, it would be interesting with that. Because, yeah, relationships can actually affect a project majorly. It can make a project flourish or it can make it fall. Whichever comes first. I actually hope that's one of the future features that are going to be added. Yeah, better call a generator to actually clean the thing. And I bet you people notice that, like, why is there two things, like, why is there call a uh, janitor and call cleaning? Well, there's somewhat, somewhat a difference between both. The clean, the cleaning is actually for like the carpet and so on. So the person would come in and clean the carpet and so on. And the janitor actually fixes like things like the air conditioner and a radiator. Like if any of these things actually have something wrong with them, the janitor would come in and fix them. Well, the cleaning is actually for the carpet. And it's advised to actually clean your carpet because if you don't, your employees will get pissed off. They'll be so pissed off that they will become less effective and they will become quite useless to you. So it's best off to keep your employees happy. But I'll go into that more into that as you know when I get my first employee or employee because I'm nearing the amount that I could pretty much manage with some employees but not many I may be able to get one or two 
but you usually need like a hundred thousand to actually get an employee with. Yeah, but it's quite hard to manage once you get them. Like, unlike game developer Tycoon and Gamer Go Maker, the employees in here are actually harder to manage. I have to admit. Like, the demo is quite hard when it comes to the employees. Uh, I think that's actually intended. Which is actually a good thing, because having employees like that, having hard employees to manage, makes the game more fun, and hopefully not frustrating. I think that's what the developer is aiming for, like he's making a more, he or she is making something more difficult than your average game developer tycoon something way more difficult than that because you actually have to manage your employees and not only that but your products and your company. Like, I bet you guys are familiar with another game like on Steam. It's called Supreme. Sort of like that except more complex than that. Like, I think there's actually a thing, like, you get to appoint one of your employees to be, like, a manager or something, or a lead, to be more specific. And when they become a lead, they basically manage a part of your... your company. Automatically. I'm gonna do one more contract and I'll show you the employees. Show you guys the employees. The employees can be quite fascinating at times. Because they don't always do like your typical things like... Well, they do do your typical things like... But you can actually make like... All, all sorts of things with them. And it makes projects a lot more easier. Like despite... You guys possibly saw earlier, like, me actually having just an empty room with these windows and so on. With just this plant over here and along with this picture and the computer. The reason why is because right now the, the head, which is you, doesn't really have any needs. Your satisfaction is always 100%. Your effectiveness is always 100%. And you don't have any salary. So you don't really demand much, of course, because it's you. It would be difficult if he actually, you know, needed stuff, but I hope in the future he, act he or she, like the developer, makes it so that, you know, your character actually needs stuff too, because it would be overpowered if your company was run by one person, wouldn't you think? Which seems possible in this demo because I could pretty much run this company all by myself. Like I would have little expenses and I'll also... I, I will have little expenses and more income if I worked by myself, but it's less fun. I have to admit, it's less fun. Like, I may shortly here just make like... A room over here because I have so much money right now but that's not as much as you can get in the future like you saw that one person had half a million like I'm gonna pretty much make a huge room over here a room to which will be the future conference room actually I messed up it. Made it smaller than it needs to be, but... Hmm. I'll just make this into a workroom. Like, another thing you can actually do in here is you can actually divide rooms. Like that. You can actually make, like, two individual rooms 
Like, I could just make, like, two people be in these two rooms, and which may be the idea I'm actually aiming for here. Okay, it's... And your employees will complain if you don't have a radiator or a ventilation in their room. They'll become so fussy with you if you don't give them what they want. And I would advise if you have the money, you better give them what they want because it can be a hassle at times. Yep, I'm going to put a radiator in the and ventilation in that room. Okay, now we have two rooms, and I'm going to place a pot, a pot plant in the rooms because this makes them happy. It makes them happy because of the decorations. May even add like a picture above their computer screen to which they get to look at for inspiration. Yep, it's a picture of a tree. It's actually quite inspiration. I have to admit. The refrigerator is right there for the moment. I plan on making a larger room over here but I can't expand the area yet. That's another thing you actually do in this game. You can actually expand the land to make your giant office building. And these trees actually get removed as you build upon them. That makes the landscape look less beautiful if you build upon them, because, yeah. But I may get rid of this to build the another room. Like, I'm going to build, like, a huge lounge room. Which the employees get to relax in, chat, become friends, and all that good stuff. Putting multiple tables down, but maybe it's not really necessary. Maybe I will just have it like a line table. Mm. Actually, I'll have it like this. Oh, it looks better. Yep, this will be like an office room to where people get to chill and so on. Okay, and the coffee machine will go over here. The employees love coffee. It's advised to actually put a coffee machine or this instant coffee stuff in there. Because they'll definitely demand it. I'm making a rather basic uh, office to which they can use. Like, this is their lounge room to which they'll relax in. I'm going to place some flowers in there and pictures. Things that will make them happy. I'm going to place some pictures over here. Yes. Nice flower pictures. Actually, I wish there were flower. Yeah, the directional system, like when you're saying stuff, can be quite difficult to manage at first. But it gets easy as you figure out. Actually, no, that's gonna conflict. Hmm, I may just have that. I better keep clean the rug so that the employees don't get angry at me for having such a dirty place. Oh, another thing I forgot to add to each of their rooms, a beautiful window. A window to which they can stare out into space in. 
and just be like, oh, outside's beautiful. Yeah. There we go. I'm also going to add tw two of those in this room just to make it look more beautiful. Huh. Now I think that the pictures actually conflict with what I planned. Okay, that's better. Now I'm going to have the pictures on the side here so that they can stare at them when they're talking to them. I decided to put the walls down because it's easier to build things with the walls down. But I may actually show some customization fe features here. Like you actually could add bricks designs outside at the current moment. You could even add like wood, even a tile like look to it. But I prefer the ground to look like a carpet. And not, and I forgot to mention this too, you can actually change the colors. You can have like a variety of colors of your office building. You can have some crazy looking office building designs. I'm going to make my room blue, because I like blue. I'm going to make it into a darkish blue, so everyone knows that this is my room. I forgot to do this. Like, I'm going to assign the furniture to my character because since he's seeing that in that spot right now, I can assign him to the furniture that he's using. Which is all this. So it means this is his room now. I'm going to design the outside. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Oh, wait, is that the outside? Okay, there. I think that matches. Hmm. Okay, let's see. There we go. Wait. That's not... Oh, that was not the wall. Okay. Yeah, another thing you actually do, as you possibly saw multiple times, I misselect an item. I can actually color my tables. I can make them red, purple, and all that color. Like, your office is completely customizable. You can make, like, all sorts of things different colors. You can even have, like, a purple computer if you wanted to. Even pink. Or even, like, black. It could look like you're looking into the void. Which is quite nice. I may actually make these rooms fit to whoever owns them. Once I employ them. Which I'm going to do at the moment. Even though I spend a majority of my money on all this development of my building. It may not look good on the outside. This is how it looks. Huh. I noticed that that area is actually brighter than it should be. I'm gonna make it into a duller color. Hmm. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Because this place is not going to stay here permanently. 
This is only a demo, I can't save in the demo, which is quite obvious. Because, yeah, it's not the full game here. This is only like an example of what they are possibly offering to you guys. Well, I may as well hire the employees because it doesn't really matter if I go bankrupt in this demo, but when I actually do the real playthrough, I'm going to actually try not going bankrupt. I'm going to try my best. Let's see, who would I want? I want a designer. A designer who does 2D. I'm paying $600 up front if they join me. Oh yeah, that's a message that shows up. Like, if you don't set the insurance, like, if you don't donate much money to the insurance, not many people are going to join you. So it's best off to add some money, because right now I have zero money, and I'm only offering $67 in insurance to my employees, if I ever get any. Which would be quite bad, because that's awful amount for insurance. Quite awful. I'm going to make it $1,402. Yeah, $1,402. Now they're all being offered $467 in insurance, which is still not much. But yeah, I'm a little company, so I don't pay much insurance to them anyway. Now, on to that designer I want. You'll get a huge list of people of different ages and of different abilities. Each one has their own salary to which you can pay them. There's some that are awfully cheap. Some that are pretty expensive to which I can't handle. Like there's one person that wants $3,000 for their employment salary. There's some that want only 200 or even $40. I guess this lily girl doesn't know how much she wants. Like, why is she offering her skills for seventy, forty-seven dollars? She's mean and naive, and she has barely squat for abilities. Well, she'll get something someday. Her abilities will somehow show. But sadly, she wouldn't be of any use to me. Yet. So, I'm going to aim for someone with some ability like this person. She's dramatic and cocky. Like, their personality will affect their abilities, too. Like, what they're capable of. Like, my character is shy. So, he has some limited ability. He's not that good at many things because he's shy. Sadly enough. But that's the true me there. Tend to not like speaking out much, but... Wait. That person is offering themselves for $2. That's very cheap. I just wasted a hundred dollars looking up what they are. Well, if she had some skills on her and she was actually offering herself for two dollars, and yes, it looks like two hundred, but it's actually two dollars because there's a digit right there. So she's offering herself for two dollars. So I would not know how much money is she being paid per day, really. Like, 
How much coins would you be paid per day to work at my business? I would say she wouldn't want to devote. Or is that a guy? I can't tell if Chris is actually a guy or a girl, but it looks like something a girl would be called, but... Okay, $24. Julia. Uh... Of course. And she's sure I like my character, but mean. Wow. Okay, all the good people are so expensive. Well, the bad people cost that much, and I wish they were good. I'd definitely pay that much if they actually worked for me. Because, yes, I'm a cheapskate. I'd want to pay like $24 or even $2 per month so that they work for me. Yeah, I know that's so cruel of me, but... That's what they're demanding, really. Let's see what this Donny boy is doing. Oh, he's generous and naive. A kind of person that I actually like. And he has... Or is that a girl? Hmm. Compatibility. Yeah, the compatibility shows, like, how well would they get along with your character. Which is what I believe. And how would they get along with your your products? Like she is generous and naive, so she would definitely get along with my character. Or he or whatever he is. I may as well hire him, even though he doesn't have good skills, and I may hire someone else here. Denver. Denver is 60 years old. Well, I don't hurt to have an elder. Respect your elders, people. Okay, they're mean and goofy. Huh? Well, they're 50%, or at least 50% compatible with me, so... Hmm. Yeah, may as well have them. Anyway, I'm just going to show them off as examples of what your employees may do as time goes. But for the time being, my character is going to fill out a contract of $4,000 so that he could keep up with his new employees, which he has to spend money on. Yep, he's doing all this in one day. Oh, he nearly fixed, he nearly done that thing in one day. Yay, here's our employees. And you saw them dash all the room. Is that a guy or a girl? Is that Donnie? It's Donnie sometimes, and what's wrong with his shirt? Well, the shirt has some problems with it. I guess he came from a poor background. Well, he would be influential once my company, you know, rises up to fame and all that. Because he's like some guy who doesn't have much money and so on. So he'd be influential among people. Because he's poor. Let's see. Gonna see what they think of my place so far. My computer works very well. This coffee is great. I love working. What does the old man think? Huh. They have not noticed the stains on my carpet. Well, anyone would actually. People tend to not pay attention to the carpet at first. how rugged it is and how dirty it like you see all the footsteps so dirty I'll quickly show you guys what these guys actually do and what they're capable of 
Like, I'm going to develop something else. I'm going to make, uh, hmm, a game engine, which is used for video games, obviously. <laughs> well, what you possibly see in Game Developer Tycoon. One thing I'm surprised about, this playthrough, I don't see that many computers and stuff. There's only like four of them. Like, in the previous playthroughs I had, there would be so many computers that I couldn't keep track with them. In this playthrough, it's like there's only four. I barely looked at the four. Well, I'm gonna go with the most recent ones, like... These ones are even old, too. I'm going with this one... And this... I'm going with the cheap ones, which apparently are free. So I'm only spending like... Yep, I'm only spending like $4,000 on the license close. Like the license you already bought are free. Which is those other two. I think Lion OS was free because... I think it's by default free. Maybe because your character used it before. What am I going to call this game engine? I'm going to call it Enigma. It'll be a mystery to many people. No one will guess what it's capable of. Huh. I got PC speakers to it. Do I want to make this open source? I'd wish to, but I need the money. But what the open source does too, like you possibly also notice these stars, which is your reputation, as you release open source things, it makes your company well known. Because you're giving out free software to which people could use for free to make stuff. And yeah. Your character actually can make free stuff, and your reputation will rise among companies, and actually makes the competition hard for your competitors. Makes another companies have more problems selling their stuff, because your stuff is free. So if I gave away this for free, their game engines would not be used as much as mine. And that's what I'm going to do, because... Yeah, this is a demo, so don't really care if I go bankrupt. Maybe I may even be able to demonstrate what the lo loan thing does, but I bet you all know what loans are. Those dreadful things that you indebt yourself to. But many of you don't even want the loans. But it's a dollar sign, as you see down below. Another. Did I get coffee? Hey! That guy stole some of our coffee! Come back! Oh, you just. He has grabbed a cup and just ran! That thief! We're never getting that coffee back. Oh well, it may have been cold. No, let's be along here. See how well they'll do in a single day. Or a single month. Whatever time it is. Damn, they're doing tons of progress in one day. On a single game engine for multiple consoles. Or computers, mainly. Okay. It's monarchy. I mean... Now it's good. <laughs> now it's good. I'm gonna make sure that it's at its full potential. Because I want the thing to be at its fullest. 
Okay, develop it. I'm going to market it after the alpha. Actually, I may as well market it now because... I also have money, so I may market it on the radio, newspaper, so that people know of my product. They're going to go and look into the newspaper and see that, oh, the Enigma version 1 is out now, or it's going to come out soon, and all the developers are going to be flocking to it. They're going to be seeing it as this kind of thing they want. They want to make their game with. It's like, it would be like phrased as a great engine during the 80s. I don't know why the game is telling me I'm near bankruptcy. Only have 9,000, but usually it reaches bankruptcy when it's 1,000. Like, once this project is done, I'm going to possibly stop this video. Because I'd like to show all of you guys, like, maybe the video, like, of the full game. Like, maybe, like, a week from now or so. Or maybe even tomorrow. But once this project is done, that'll pretty much be the end of the video. But you guys could see how interactive these characters act. They go in the bathroom, they go and do all sorts of things around the thing, like sims. Except you don't have to command them to do so. I don't actually know how long this engine is going to take, but I'm hoping by the end of its... Like, I'm hoping I would have some time of the video left to actually explain some more things, but who knows, this project may take, you know, more time than I think. I was I'm going bankrupt. Hmm, may as well demonstrate the loan thing. Oof. Well, I'm actually still unsure of myself. I don't know, like... Yeah. I don't know how long this uh, little project will take, so I might as well say seven months of the loan, and how much. I will say I need about 10,000 or 12,000 really. So that's the amount I have to pay back. 14,000. Actually, how much have I been taking? I clearly don't know how much I was losing the entire time. But I may go and oh my god I'm making the thing cost more as I put the months but I think I would get this thing out by 12 months but I'm um, adding 14 I'm gonna have this at 20,000 and I'm owing 30,000 now now that's the amount I have to pay by 14 months if I don't pay that much, then I'm screwed. Hopefully I get some potential by then, and I hope I get this done by then. Wait, employee having problems concentrating. Wait, which employee is having problems? Okay, it's not you, uh, where's another guy? Um, 
Where is Denver? I mean, where is he? He is. This place is dirty. Uh, actually, I don't blame him there. I've been forgetting to clean the place because of the project and so on. I'll promote this and hopefully we get the bugs out as quick as possible. Yeah, may end the video soon. But this is basically demonstrating what this game is. A video itself. And to support the developer with their project. God, it's taking them forever to get out that bug. Like, this gauge is supposed to fill up when it shows that they're fixing the bugs, but it's taking forever. At this rate, I may go bankrupt. Which means another company could buy me out and they can actually use all my contents that I made so far. <coughs> Trust me. Uh, I don't think the bugs can actually fix themselves. And I only have $2,000. Uh, I'm resorting to selling it. Cannot release? What? Oh, man. Wait. Nothing has been done. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, one of the things the developer mentioned, there is some bugs in the demo, and I think they're going to possibly iron these out in the... in later updates of the game, like the full game, not the demo. I think I just stumbled upon the bug while making this feel. Well, I'm not going to make much of a big deal of it because it's the demo. And also the developer, you know. Well, I may actually put a link of their website in the description below and put the link of the, the store site like uh, on Steam, like the store page. I hope you guys actually would pay a visit to the page, may even decide to buy the game, but it's up to you. Based on this video and other videos you, you see on the YouTube. But my video is only a demonstration of what it's capable of, and you may even go and play the demo itself if you wish, if you have doubts about the game. I may even put that in the link. So, I would actually wish for you to, guys to actually... Well, I'd be happy if you guys actually give me a like and also subscribe to me. Because I may actually have more interesting videos in the future. You guys may even tell me, like, videos I could possibly make of certain games, if you want. Just tell me in the comments below, and I'll listen. Because I t pay more attention to the comments than anything else. So I hope you guys have a nice day. And... Yeah. But I hope you guys actually give some support to this developer because they did this partially by themselves and had support from some friends of theirs. They don't have a team like to which they made this demo with. They only had themselves along with some friends who helped them along the way. But I hope you guys give them your support. Because it may be a good game in the future. Who knows? 
Well, see you later, guys. <laughs>